Okay, before we get started with today's King James Version Bible Daily Devotional, let's have a word of prayer. I love you, Jesus, and I thank you how you're blessing this ministry, how you're touching and moving and just helping lives to be changed every day, all through you, nothing that I do at all. <clears throat> I just pray that you would help us to leave here today knowing more about your word than when we came, taking off more men, putting on more of Jesus Christ every day, and your precious name I ask it. Amen. Today's scripture is found in 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. As always, all I use is the King James Version Bible. I shall lay up some KJV upon thee. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them, that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction. My friends, this is all that I do. In my life, and I'm not, and I'm not bragging. People that know me know that I'm nothing. I am the least in God's kingdom. I'm the, I'm the lowest of lowest foot slaves for Jesus Christ. But the Lord has blessed me with the largest Christian ministries in social media. I've got just several humongous YouTube pages. A couple new ones that have only been up for a little over a month that already have a couple million views each. And just thousands and thousands. I've got like uh, about 40,000 subscribers now. Facebook, I reach up to 250,000 people a day through various ministries there. The Lord is just blowing up what I'm doing. And it's not anything that I do. It's the Lord. He's using a man who does not beg for money, who does not have any ulterior motives, who does not want fame. Just the lowest slave who understands my place in life. And he is showing all of the phonies and fakes out there whose ministries, even the ones who have large ministries, they're stagnating. They're getting fewer views on their videos. Their friends are, are falling down on Facebook. Why I'm saying all this is because this is all that I do. 12 to 15 hours a day, 7 days a week. Even on vacation, I'm doing this. Why? Because I owe Jesus debts that I could never scratch the surface to repay. I could never even begin to repay him what I owe him. All I can do is give him everything that I have. It's not much, but it's all that I got. And again, the reason why I'm pointing this out is, this is all that I do all day and night, so I see all the false teachers. I see all those teaching damnable heresies who deny even the Lord. I'm seeing all of these people everywhere. And my friends, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you the sad truth. I'm going to tell you the sad, honest truth. I've had thousands and thousands of people message me and ask me to look at a video or to watch somebody. And I don't have time anymore because I've got so I've got 11 ministries right now the Lord's given me. And I've got just... I've, <laughs> I barely have time to sleep and to do what the Lord wants me to do, to pray and to give good Christian counseling and to, and to answer people's messages and answer their questions, answer their comments. But I've had thousands of people in the past, when I had smaller ministries, they'd ask me, can you look at this person? Look at this person. Or even now, they'll, they'll show me a video. Look at this person. I don't have time to watch the videos because if I did, I had to watch everybody's video and I can't do that. But I know the name already. All I have to do is a quick... 10 second Google search. False prophet, false prophet, false teacher, false teacher, liar. 99% of everybody out of the thousands and thousands and thousands who I've looked at, from people who've asked me to, 99% are false prophets, false teachers, wolves in sheep's clothing, goats, liars. It just breaks my heart. I don't think it's any better in churches, my friends, because I've left, I've been in over 100 churches, I would imagine. Left them all because every single one of them has fallen away from the Lord. We are in the last of the last days, a time of the great apostasy. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. You've got these liars, man, that are just that are just just polluting social media on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and Google. It makes me sick. I can't imagine how Jesus feels. And so few of us will stand up for the truth anymore. So few of us will put our necks out there and put our heads out there. And not be afraid of the Antichrist Obama and, and all those who who uh, threatened to shut us down and who would, would threaten to, to put us in a FEMA camp or imprison us or kill us. I could care less. 250,000 people on average a year are, are martyred now around the world, Christians. If I get killed doing what the Lord wants me to do, so be it. I'll be in heaven faster than anybody else. I just don't care. I'm not going to kowtow. I'm not going to bow down to any of these people on this earth. I'm not going to sit there and water down things for Christians to make them feel good. Because I see, I see Christian friends who have on their pages, when I'm, when I'm scanning the, the main Facebook feed, 
I don't have time to go to all the pages, but I'll scan the feed. All they're talking about is prosperity. The Lord has this buzzing waiting for you, or the Lord has this waiting for you. Come and get it. Everybody's talking about prosperity all the time. I see very few Christians who are talking about, hey, you're going to be burning in hell if you don't repent of your sins, backslidden Christian, or, or someone who's, who's not saved, or Christians who rebuke, correct, and teach those who are lying and sinning, who, who call themselves Christians, the way the Bible tells us to, over and over and over again. And they say, oh, don't judge me. It's not judging, it's rebuking, correcting, and teaching. I get tired of seeing the Christians who laugh at everybody else's jokes that are blasphemous and, and, and heresy against God and filthy and bad language, and they laugh at it, and they get involved in all the funny, they think it's so funny. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of seeing the watered-down, filthy, garbage dump church and the Christians who, stop calling yourself a Christian. Take the Christ out. And call yourself an Ian. That's what you are. You're an Ian. There's no, there's no Christ in your life anymore. And people think that they're going to heaven. I'm telling you, my friends. I'm telling you. When the imminent rapture happens, there's going to be the most majority of all the church is going to be left behind with those who are unsaved. And then, all I can do is, is just pray now that they're going to wake up. I'm not even going to think about it then, because I'm going to be in heaven with Jesus. Praise the Lord. And just looking over my new digs forever. I just don't, I'm not going to have time to worry about this crazy world anymore then. I'm pouring my heart, my soul, my life into this world right now, trying to warn and trying to tell people. And so many just blow it off and act like things, act like I'm just talking just, just for my health. Just because I want to hear myself talk. <coughs> time is short, my friends. You need to understand. Get your Bible out. Get your King James Version Bible out, your sword. And have that in your hand at all times. And when someone tells you something, you check in the Bible for yourself. And don't, and don't check what someone else tells you to check. You check your own Bible yourself and find out what it says because we're all going to be accountable for following false prophets and false teachers who are dragging people right to hell with them. There won't be any excuse at the great white throne judgment for backslidden Christians who say, Oh, Jesus, I didn't. No. Shut your mouth. Bow down. Take your punishment. Get cast into the lake of fire forever. It's the way it is, my friends. I'm not trying to be hard. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm trying to get through to you. There's there's too much kumbaya of, you know, patted by in the back love. This time for tough love. Tough love is what gets through people right now. This is a longer devotion than usual, but we got to get the word out. This is the Holy Spirit has got me putting this out. Just open your eyes, pray for the sermon, get that Holy Bible out, that King James Version Bible, and check what everybody says, me and everybody else. And I'm telling you, the majority are dragging you to hell. If anyone does not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, if anyone is a backslidden Christian who believes the lie of once saved, always saved, that's, that's filling hell, the Satan's just laughing his butt off. The lie that, that's only been around for a couple hundred years, hasn't been around forever like all the liars and once saved, always saved, say it's only been around for a couple hundred years. And what it teaches is that Christ paid for all the sins we'll ever commit ever on the cross. And after we're saved, no matter what we do in life, even if we become an atheist or a Satan worshiper, as long as we're saved, we go to heaven. Sin don't matter. Baloney. I've got at least 250 scripture from the King James Version Bible. I've saved it on a Word document. I've got commentary as well. I've sent it to hundreds. I'll send it to you. Message me. It's not my words. It's not your words. It's God's word. You know what God's word says all those times? If a Christian does not repent of their sins after they're saved, they won't step foot into heaven, period. So if you're in that boat as well, it's time to pray, my friends, because time is short. It's time to stop jiving around and playing games. Let's pray. Jesus, I believe you came to earth. I believe you died on the cross for my sins. I believe you rose again on the third day and went back to heaven. Please forgive me of my sins. Clean my heart white as snow. Come live in my heart. Make me a child of the King, a new creature in Christ. In your precious name I ask this. Amen. Next, get you a King James Version Bible. Read it daily. It will feed your spirit and soul the way you feed your body with food and water. Pray to Jesus every day. He's your new best friend. He wants to talk with you daily. Make sure you find a Christian church and get water baptized. <coughs> Dumped under water. If you were sprinkled baptized in the past, it does not count. Pray to be filled with the Holy Spirit, sanctify. You do this by praying, reading the Bible, living for Jesus. Take your King James Version Bible to church. When the preacher speaks, make sure what he says matches your Bible. If not, get up and walk out and find a new church. And lastly, very important, make sure you repent. Repent, repent of every sin you do now after you're saved. Ask Jesus to forgive you with an honest heart and he will. Anyone who would like me to pray for you, for anything, from a terminal illness to a sick pet, anything in between, contact me. I had the gift of faith, mustard seed faith. I didn't earn it or deserve it, but when I prayed for it, praise the Lord, he gave it to me. And I'll pray for you every day if you ask me to, expecting a miracle in your life. And I know that God will perform that miracle if it's in His holy will. If He does, it's all Him. Nothing to do with me. I'm the least in God's kingdom, a tiny fish in a huge ocean, a slave for Jesus Christ. Let's witness and pray for the lost every day, my friends. Get out there in the front lines of the battlefield. Time is short. Take off more of man, put on more of Jesus every day. 
Love you guys. I pray for you every day. May God bless you. I'll see you next time, Lord willing, on the next episode of the King James Version Bible Daily Devotional. Good night.